Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Sekiro. Shadows die twice, just like my controller just did. Please don't ever do that again, especially in the middle of me playing Sekiro controller. Uh, <laughs> we made it to Mibu Village last episode. I guess we did indeed take a, a rest, which means this dude is back. And this guy drops, like, absurd amounts of experience and can be backstabbed. So I think I'm basically just going to kill him every top opportunity I get. I didn't do any farming or anything like that, but um, still, like, it just seems really good. Uh, and then we need to head in this general direction. Looks like there's these guys. Oh, they actually seem pretty easy. Which means there's probably going to be a lot of them. It, it seems like these guys go down pretty quick. Oh! And they pop up out of the ground. Okay, well that's good to know. Alright, let's just dispatch these foes. They each are dropping like almost 90 experience though. Actually, this is a pretty solid like experience farming area. Period. Because, like, you've got the one guy, right? You've got the one ninja dude. And then you've got all these little guys that you can take out. You can actually get quite a lot of experience here. I'm all for it. Okay. Um, let's just head this way. That's a dude. Or an old lady or something. I'll grab this item. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Start getting rid of fools. And basically what we're doing is relying on the iframes from the... <laughs> from the death blow to, uh, to keep us alive. Which seems to work. And, like, the amount of experience we can get from these. Because if these guys just, like, pop up out of the ground all the time... Yeah, like, look at this. If these guys are just going to keep popping up, you can basically just get a stream high of enemies and you can just keep going. I wonder if they spawn like forever or if at some point they stop. Any more? Yep, look at that. It definitely appears like the spawn. Whoa, what? Did a second guy pop up? Was he, or was he there all along and I just didn't see him? I don't know. Either way. There we go. We're up to two experience points now. And there are more. Dude, it's, this is the greatest farming experience area of all time. Like, you can basically just kill these guys forever. There's more. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just uh, I, I'm just kind of sciencing it now to see if they ever do actually stop spawning. OK, I think they have officially stopped. Now, there's more over here. I'm not going to fight these guys just forever. Like, I'll kill a few. I'll kill the ones that are immediately in our way. Yeah, that was OK. He almost got me. But I think for the most part, I'm just going to kind of leave these guys be. We got a balloon of wealth. We obviously want to suck up all the items they drop. Kill you. Mostly right now, I'm just getting my health back. Oh, what? Dude, there's a guy. He came up out of the ground. He's gra We've been grabbed. Please release me, good sir. What is this dude? Ow. He, <laughs> he got us killed. Okay. And it looks like there's a grapple point there. So, uh, is there anything up here? Looks like there's something... Oh, there's an NPC. Okay, what do you say? Ask 
basket, 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 basket. I am a basket. <laughs> what? Hey. Basket, 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 basket. Calm down. <laughs> Are you an honorable person? This guy's nuts. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness you are an honorable person. <laughs> Is there something you want to ask? Look, sorry, but uh, if you have questions, I'll have to answer with this basket on my head. What? Can they get in here? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Oh, this guy's crazy. Um, What's going on with this village? I'd sure like to know that, too. For a while, I, too, was in a daze, but I snapped out of it after I uh, threw up. I was thirsty, so I drank a lot of sake. I'm sure that's what made That explains some up. things. The head priest sometimes treats us to sake. But you know, when you drink sake, you get thirsty. The sake cask runs dry in no time. So everyone has no choice but to drink the water in the ponds and rivers. But the more you drink it, the thirstier you get. Oh, you get thirstier and thirstier. Can't ever drink enough. Okay, so it sounds like the high priest guy is responsible for this. Maybe he's poisoning the sake. Or maybe he's not poisoning the sake, but they're all getting sick from the water. I don't know. What about the villagers? What is wrong with the villagers? Hmm? No idea. All I know is, they all fear fire. Ooh. For a while, I too was in the same days, and I felt the fear too. An unquenchable fire. Even now, the thought of it gives me chills. An unquenchable fire. The hunter, Inuhiko, started burning pine resin and locked himself in his house. His pine resin burns a long time. It's a real nuisance. Inuhiko is the village outcast. He likes eating wild animal meat in the sword. That's why the head priest doesn't give him any sake. Where is Inohiko's house? Oh, uh, on the other side of the pond. Inohiko's is the last house on the path. Okay, so we'll want to go visit him. Tell me about the priest. He's the most important person in the entire village. You can find him in the shrine all the way up the riverside, near the water's source. He told us, let us become citizens of the palace. If you drink enough sake, you shall become citizens, he said. Huh? A citizen of the palace? I don't really get it, but that's what he said. Okay. Well, that's a little oh, go a, a little crazy. Oh. All right. Yeah, this guy's nuts, but uh, <laughs> we did learn some things about the lore of the village for sure. Um, but first, let's get this. Oh, there's a bunch more dudes. I think, yeah, these guys go down super easy, though. Which is great. And I'm sure they're just going to keep coming, so we're just going to kind of leave them to do their thing. Uh, the guy said, go across the pond. To, oop, I didn't mean to fall down here. The guy said, go across, go across, go across. Wow, I can't words today. Uh, go across the pond to visit Inuhiku. Which we will want to do. I want to look around here a little bit first, though. Just to see what other items are here. That sounds like a chicken. Okay. Did I hear a chicken? I heard a chick. There's a chicken on the roof. What is a chicken doing on the roof? I, I don't understand. We may die. We may die here, but I, I, especially in this series, but I refuse to lose to a foul creature such as that. Pun intended. Um, anyway. Looks like that's definitely a direction we'll want to go. This looks a little bit ominous. Like there's guys popping up. Let's grab that. Oh! That more of the voix. Ah, okay. Oh, you know what? I bet it's the like lilac or the sakura or whatever this pink, whatever this like pink tree is. 
I bet that's where the dudes spring up from the ground. Because they've all sprung up out of those so far. The ones that, like, grab you or whatever? So I bet you can avoid... Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> I bet you can avoid. Well, now watch as I do not avoid. No, see... Ah, we need to not do that. Okay, come on, get away, get away. Oh, there are so many. <laughs> All right, yeah, we need to <laughs> avoid the lilac bushes. Or the, I'm going to call them lilacs because they look like lilac petals. But I, it's probably something not, that's not all. It's probably like a, a type of Japanese tree or something that, like I'm not good with, uh, with plants and things, okay? Just cut me some slack. I'm calling them lilac petals, even though that may be objectively wrong. I want to, I just want to get those items. Aim, please. All right, there's all of that. I wonder if we can just like do a hop skip. That's a gourd seed. That's amazing. All right, I think we're out. Are there any more items over here? Oh, that's right. Don't step in the lilac petals. Oh, that's a big dude. That's a real big, scary big dude. Okay, um, well, given that big dude is there, maybe, oh, that's a save point. Okay, I'm just gonna chill over here for a minute. We wanna get over there as well. I'm just gonna let these guys forget all about me. We'll just break aggro for a sec. Oh, this is definitely something. All right, we'll grab that, just pellets. Nothing too fancy, but I'll take it. I fell into the ground, but it's okay. Kill this guy. One more in the house. One more. There we go. Got her. All right. Look around in here. What do we got? Divine confetti. Yellow gunpowder. I'm very excited about the divine confetti. We need, like, so much more of that. Because I feel like there's probably going to be bosses where it's required. And we don't really have all that much of it. Because the, the problem is, like, with the Divine Confetti, you use, like, it just doesn't last very long. And then you end up using, like, two or three of them for a single attempt. And then if you don't, uh, if you die during said attempt, then you just lose the Divine Confetti. Like, it's gone forever. And it's a fairly rare item, so I can't say I'm a huge fan of the Divine confetti thing, but maybe we'll get to a place later where we can just get infinite divine confetti. What's going on over here? Whoa. There was a puff of smoke. Alright, kill him. And then we know that there are items over here. Because we saw them. You know what? Just... just Spider-Man to it. That's... Can I... Will anyone else notice? Nope. They didn't notice. I am a master ninja and no one knows... No one knows about me. Okay. Ashina Saki. That seems amazing. Dude, can we just backstab like everybody here without anyone noticing? Because this, if so, like, this is the only other guy that I'm actually worried about. These little guys are like cake. They're real easy to get rid of. It's the big ones that are scary. Okay. I think we have successfully navigated our way through all that. I think we've gotten all the items and stuff, except for 
uh, this, which I will grab. This was the house with the crazy blue robed ladies in it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to commune with the idol. And then we're gonna go across the pond. Uh, we're not gonna rest. We're just gonna go across the pond and go see if we can visit, uh, I, I already forget the name of the person who we were supposed to visit on the other side of the pond, but we're just supposed to go visit somebody. All right, more roost, more uh, chickens. Okay, chicken, that was very rude. Can you like, I'm the chicken has me trapped against a tree. There we go. Please die, chicken. Give me my health back. I feel like exploration is a bit like mandatory here. This is... This is a little disturbing. All right, who saw me? Someone or something saw me. Oh, it's a dude all the way down there. Oh, well, who cares? Okay, there's stuff here. Is this the one that is across the pond? Like... Yeah, I mean, this is the entrance to the village, so we are indeed across the pond. So I guess where we're supposed to go... Please, no, see, the thing is, I want you to get... It, it, stop targeting those. Just get the item. There we go. All right. I don't really care about the fish. They're not treasure carp. So I guess this is the direction we're supposed to go. And then I basically, I guess we basically just grab anything along the way. What did I just hear? I'm sure it's a dude of some sort. Whatever. Could have been that. Who knows? Fistful of ash. Can you get in here? No. Can you climb the ladder? No. But you can jump. Adamantine scrap. Pine resin ember. A piece of resin that contains a continuously smoldering flame can be used to upgrade the flame vent. Resin was found in the black pine within the forest of Mibu Village. The ever smoldering flames. Okay, cool. We'll read uh, more about that later, but I'm suddenly in calm. What in the... the... Okay, there's a couple of guys down there. Um, just a few. Uh, you know what? Can we, like, do one of these? I think that was What's-His-Face's house uh, that we were supposed to go visit. I'm pretty sure. They said it was the last one on the road. And that was definitely the last one on the road. Those guys, though, like, I can just know. They, they can just stay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not dealing with that. No way. Um, okay. Well, that didn't work very well. Uh, I guess we'll have to swim back this way. I want to go to that next little altar or whatever. And... I should actually check. How we doing on skill points? Eh, kind of getting there. It does appear that these dudes all respawn, though, because, like, these are guys that we have definitely killed. So it looks like, given enough time... Actually, what we should do is go back to the very beginning of the village and see if all these ones are back. No. Okay, so those ones do not respawn. It's just all the other ones that do. Fair enough. That's fine.
I missed judge that distance, but it's fine. I'm just like kind of slowly trying to up my way to level to the third level or whatever. What was that? Oh, that was one of these dudes. Okay. Oh, he got me. Hey, get off you. And I got no experience for that. Okay, well, that's good to know. How this one does not see me? Like, a second ago? I'm not really sure, but... Whatever. She gave me 128 experience. I mean, fine. Whatever. This... Okay, these are the fields. Frame rate, please stabilize. And this is where we gotta go, right? And then, yeah, there's all those dudes down there, but I'm not... Ain't nobody got time for that. We need to go this way. This is the direction. Oh, it's you again. Oh, is that you, Shinobi? I was so taken by the melody. I did not see you coming. Ah. I can hear it. The melody of I'm what? I'm sure the Shamisen player is just beyond here. I knew it. She's been waiting for me the whole time. You can kind of hear it, actually. Okay, I guess that's what the sh I guess that's what a shamisen is. Is this like stringed instrument? Why are you Why crying? Are you crying? <laughs> because I'm sad. What are you sad about? I don't know where Lord Sakusa is or what he's doing. It breaks my heart. Aww. If I can't see him. I'd at least like to know, but no matter how many letters I send, he never writes me back, and no one will tell me where he is. Actually, sir, can you tell me? Where is Lord Sakuza? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're a liar, too. Why must everyone hide him from We're gonna end up fighting this chick, aren't we? Yep. Oh, and she gets all purple and glowy and stuff. Okay. Okay, that's a jump, or that's a sweep. Okay. Oh, that's, ah, yeah, that's right. That's a sweep, that's a sweep. You gotta jump over her sweep. Okay. I'm just trying to like figure out her patterns here. She actually doesn't seem too too tough. Okay. And then th Ooh, I almost messed that up. Can I even hurt her? Yeah, she does actually take damage. I don't have to use the divine confetti on her it looks like. Dude, you can totally just cheese her by putting a, an obstacle between you and her. I'm not going to do that because that's no fun. But. Come at me, you. And the sweep. Uh, I still messed that up, but I'll take it. This is not a great angle. <laughs> I got to time that, that, like, I'm... I'm timing it properly to avoid getting hit, but not well enough. Okay, so you can hit her after that little combo. Gotta time that better, too. Oh, that's the sweep. Yeah, 
we really need to time that a lot better. She does a lot of posture damage with her hits, though. I think that's the best way to do it, is, like, not even try to jump on her head. Just hit her. Okay, we're getting her there, though. Yeah, she doesn't seem that bad. Deal a little damage. Okay. And that's the attack right there. She usually follows that up with a jump. Okay. We got her. Oh, why? Why would you not jump there? All right, heal. Okay, yeah. That was uh, actually not great. Heal again. Okay, broke my posture. That's fine. I think that was a grab, actually. I'm actually going to heal again. Because I'm, like, really not worried about her unless I do something incredibly stupid. I bet you can kill her pretty quick with Divine Confetti, too. Oh, that's the jump. Okay. We get like one more good parry or two on her. And her posture will be broken. There we go. There's one. Now we just got to do it again. Posture. Recover, please. Thank you. Okay. We gotta, like, get her health down a little bit so her posture actually goes down. But that's fine. Okay, broke my posture. Heal. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we got her figured out. Okay, yeah, don't do that. Self, heal. You need to block that. Thank you. Jump. Hit her. Okay. This is an enemy that is very much about parrying with the right timings. Cause I have, cause like her, uh, if you try to like dodge away, it messes you up. Okay. Oh, uh, why would you not jump there? I meant to jump there. Jump, you fool. All right, don't die here. Jump! I I swear I meant to hit the jump button there, and I did not. All right, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna actually pop a pellet. Lord Sakusa, if you won't come to me, at 
least instead. Okay. Jump. There we go. Almost. Oh, we're so close. Give me my posture back, please. There we go. That should basically do it. Yeah, we got her. Oh, man. She was actually... That was kind of an annoying fight. Like, it wasn't a hard fight. It was just a really... Brought me that man in his stead. Brought me that man. Is she talking about mean? And he's right. Over there. Uh, that's concerning. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, that wasn't really a hard fight. It was just an... Oh, we got a prayer bead. And Breath of Light to restore more vitality on a, on a death blow. That sounds amazing. Um, that wasn't really a hard fight. It was just a long one. Like, she just took forever to die. I wonder if there's a way to get a death blow on her somehow. Maybe before the fight starts. Uh, oh, hello. I see that chest down there. You see it glowing? Can we, like, do one of those? Oh, yeah. All right, what's in here? What did we get for our trouble? Divine grass. Okay. That's better than some things. Uh, I need to get up there. There we go. Oh, self. <laughs> what you doing? Uh, there we go. All right. So we came from over there. So we got to go this way. All right. What do we got? An area. Are those people or are those rocks? I think those are rocks. I think this bell dude... Like, there's definitely a bell dude right here. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's a rock. Oh, can I eavesdrop on these dudes? Nope. Alright, we need to take him out. Maybe you can eavesdrop on him, but, like, I'm not. Like, all these guys I'm not even worried about. It's the other ones. It's the big dudes. And, dude, you get so much vitality back now from a death blow, too. Look at that. We get, like, an eighth of our health back. That's easy. Terror. Where am I getting terror from? Okay. Oh, I see. You eavesdrop right here. That's a little disturbing. That's very disturbing. Okay. Um, so what's going on in there? And is there a way to get up there? That's what I want to know. That looks very much like what is probably a boss arena. Is there... How do I get in there? This looks like a thing. You oh, hello. Rotating door. What a neat trick. All right, is... Yeah, that dude is over there. He's an NPC. Divine Confetti is good. Um... Wait, are you? Hello? Is he gonna attack me too? Hey, what are you doing? <sighs> it feels... Oh, that's good. It's melting inside. But it's not enough. Boring. Pour until it brims. Come forth, my people. 
Oh, this guy's just straight up nut. Uh, this guy's straight up nuts. Drink. Indulge yourself in the sweet nectar. Come forth as citizens of the palace. One and all. There's an item back there. Please accept us as your humble servant. Okay, he's nuts. <laughs> We're just gonna leave him be for the moment. There's definitely an item here. Red lump. I don't think there are any other items. Uh, there was divine confetti right there that we already grabbed. Oh, come on. Yo, game. Help me out here. This is something. A light coin purse. We can rope to up here. Spirit emblems and a prayer bead. Hey, look at that. We get a prayer bead upgrade. That's pretty sweet. I'll take it. That's our fourth one. Uh, and then down here it was. I was going to say, I know I saw another item around here somewhere. Scrap. Okay. So. Uh, I mean, the priest guy is obviously insane, but. Oh, am I. Did I just kind of, like, completely... No, I can still... All right, we're fine. <laughs> I was worried there for a minute. Um, I don't think we can get out over here. Yeah, I think we got to go back through the house the way we came, unless there's a door that I can open, and it does not appear. Yeah, there's not a door I can open, but I can go back out through this little door down here. All right, how we doing? No, nah, not too bad. We're getting there. So, I have a feeling that this is going to be a boss. I don't really have anything that I care too much about losing right now. We don't have too much gold and we recently hit our skill point, so I think we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Like, anytime you see a big arena like this <laughs> in a game, you just kind of expect to see a boss. All right, we've got a big monk. It looks like his attacks do not do terror damage, which is, ow, good. Uh, oh no, I didn't heal. Okay, we're definitely gonna die. <laughs> Can he take damage? Or do I have to use divine, wow, really? Do I have to use divine confetti on him? It, okay, it looks like he does take damage, just not much. So, I I don't think I have to use Divine Confetti. But I don't think I want to fight this guy right now. Uh, we are basically at the end of an episode. I think I might actually go and explore a different path, and we'll come back to this guy later, is what I'm thinking. Uh, I think that is going to do it for... Actually, before we go, let's just take a look at our skills real quick. we got three skill points to spend... I definitely want to get Living Force. And I definitely want to get the Ichimanji Double. And maybe the Ashina Cross as well. Uh, I think we'll start with the Ichimanji Double. And then I think, like, that that's going to be fine. Um, oh, and we want to enhance our physical attributes and get a little bit more life and uh, posture to work with as well. But I think that is going to do it for me. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.